Hello and welcome to all my knowledge partners. Welcome to my YouTube channel PharmaVen. In my series of video about media field failure investigation, in this specific video we will talk about when, what, how to investigate a media field failure when you have a complex manufacturing system. So in my one of previous video I explained that how to prevent media field failure in the complex manufacturing system. But suppose anyhow it has been failed, now what to do? How to properly investigate the media field failure? So first and foremost, Whenever or before moving forward, I request if you are if you are liking my videos, please subscribe to my channel and watch my entire video because it helps to reach more of the people. If you watch my full video, it will help uh, the channel itself to reach to more of the people and it will benefit more for the all our pharma professionals. So my purpose is to share my knowledge and to make it available for as many people as possible in the pharmaceutical industry. So thank you. Please sub subscribe, please share my videos to all your friends, all your groups so we can help each other to make a better pharmaceutical industry. So coming to the media field investigation part, when you have complex system involves multiple CIP, SIP skates, multiple filling operations, multiple connections, then if it is fails as a media field, then how to investigate? So first and foremost, when you identify that you have media field failure, all the technical skilled persons who knows the process should go to the area. That is the first and foremost requirement. Just go to the area. The first hint or first intimation from the production floor that there is a contamination either into the vessel or either into the container. In the media field, during the media field, all the persons with technical skills should go to the area and take a overview of entire system what is happening ask the people what you have done and whatever you have done is it part of our procedure is it mentioned clearly in in the system if you don't go immediately to the area then a lot of information can be lost people may the operator who are conducting media conducting the media field can forget so just go to the area and ask questions have we done anything different was there any abnormality was there any connection which was not done properly what do you feel could have lead to this failure. So these three, four simple questions can give you the correct answers. So first go to the area, analyze the entire process for yourself. Check each and every correction, connections, each and every gasket, each and every uh, parameter, especially whether we have proper sterilization cycle done, whether we have done the, all the steps as per the SOP or the best manufacturing record. Many times what happens, people, See, media fill is a lengthy process and it takes two to three days. So, there are high probabilities that people may skip or forget or hurry up with the, some of the steps which are critical to the process. And if that process are, uh, these steps are not done properly, then it can lead to your introduction of the contamination. For example, connections. So, if you have a complex manufacturing system, then there are a lot of connections which are to be done before sterilization as well as after sterilization. We have connectors which are available which is called S2S connector. Once you connect after sterilization it, it ensures sterility. But there are high probability that that connection is done proper but the remaining of the connection if are not done properly then can lead to introduction of the microbial contamination. Whether you have grade A by B or grade A by C or you have isolators. It can happen in any of the area and I have seen failures in all the this uh, manufacturing processes, all, all the type of technologies, whether you call it LF, whether you call it wraps or whether you call it isolators. I have seen the failures in all the sort of areas because just because the connections are not ensured properly are not done properly or defined properly into the SOP or into the batch manufacturing record. So ask the people whether they have done all the corrections correctly. If the answer is yes, whether we have proper, whether we have passing the leak test of the entire system, answer is yes, then ask more questions. After the leak test, have you done anything or have you disturbed any connection? Have you made any connection after your leak test passing or after your SIB? Have you modified anything? Have you checked or corrected anything which you feel will uh, is not good? after the SIP or after leak test and you have done. So this sort of information on first hand or during the immediate investigation will help 
you to understand that what might have gone wrong during your media field leading to the failure so that is that is a first uh, that is a by uh, a first and foremost requirement to have first hand information of your process once you have done it and you find if you find the abnormality well and good that you have the root cause yes this connection was not proper or this sensor was not properly placed or this gasket was not properly kept which might have introduced the contamination to the system leading to media field failure but if you are not finding then list out all the information check with the process check with the procedure so whether we have clearly defined that what is to be done to ensure that it maintains the sterility of the system is written into the either into the procedure or into the batch manufacturing record of the, or media field batch record or media field protocol if the clear cut instruction are not written step by step how to connect gasket how to place gasket how to connect a trichloro clamp how to place a sensor or how to tighten the gasket or how to, how to make one to one connection how to make the aseptic connections if the steps are not properly written then there are a lot of chances that people by their own skill by their own experience will be doing that activity so one person will be doing correct other person may not be doing the same activity in the correct fashion so if there are such gaps identify those gaps and fill it or make it as a part of your either of your procedure or a media field protocol or a media field bm or batch record so by that way you can prevent the reoccurrence third part is understanding about aseptic manufacture if you are person who are working into the area if you are they are not acquainted with the aseptic manufacturing with the how the grade c works how the what is the grade c what is grade b what is grade a what is isolator if they are not aware clearly how it plays an important role in sterility assurance if it is not clear then there are lot of chances that they will understand whatever they are doing right and they do that activity which can lead to introduction of contamination to your system so knowledge of your people is very very important about your systems about about aseptic manufacturing about aseptic connection irrespective of your operating with grade a grade b wraps open wraps close wraps or isolators if the people or the persons who are doing that activity if they are not aware what is the importance of aseptic practices what is important of connection what is important of sterilization then it can lead to the media field failure and it is frequently occurring or frequently observed scenario when we investigate media field failure so hope this helps you to understand more about media field failure investigation hope this helps if you like you please share to your friends and uh, let me help spread the knowledge thank you thank you very much